Monday marks a sad anniversary, 25 years since the disappearance of Holly Perenin. Well, tips come in occasionally, but her killer has never been found. WBZ's Beth Germano spoke with her grandmother, who is not giving up. It's hard to realize that it's been 25 years. It seems like it was last year. 25 is not just a number for the grandmother of Holly Perenin, but a reminder of the passage of time with no answers about her mysterious murder. What would it mean for you and your family to have somebody finally brought to justice? I think it would be wonderful. It would, it would relieve us of that burden of doubt. To her family, she's still 10 years old. The little girl who went missing August 5, 1993, near her grandmother's summer home in Sturbridge. Holly's family making desperate pleas to find her in the hours that followed. We're begging anyone with any information if they could just, just let us know where she is. Hundreds of volunteers combed the woods in the area but turned up no leads. Maureen Lemieux remembers asking to search neighbors' homes, even car trunks. We were just suspicious of everybody. And uh, some people were cooperative and some weren't. And if they weren't, we gave their names to the police. And uh, nothing came of it. It was hunters who located Holly's remains two months later, miles away in Brimfield. It wasn't the way we wanted to recover her, but at least we know where she is. Her family says the remote spot where Holly's remains were found would be known only by locals. And while persons of interest have been identified over the years, there's been nothing conclusive. Somebody who actually knows something has to come forward. And there has to be somebody. No questions asked. It's why the family in October will hold a tip day, hoping that somebody they're looking for will finally provide answers about what happened to Holly Perenin. We will never give up. For them, this will never be a cold case. Beth Germano, WBZ News.